Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we look at the Leveled Mobs plugin. So as you can tell by the name, this plugin is going to give each and every mob a specific level, and obviously the higher the level they are, the more health and more difficult they will be to attack. And I covered this plugin about four years ago when it was only a month old, and since then it has gone through some pretty big updates and it's improved significantly. So today we are going to be covering the updates and what you can do with it. So we'll start in game and as you can see each level can be a different color which you can specify in game. This level 11 zombie has 64 health and then that level 23 has 112 so he'd be rather difficult to attack. Now there's a few different ways you can specify in the config file how a level is determined whether it's just random or whether it's due to the distance you are from the spawn point of the world and there's a few other ones as well. So that is what it looks like in game. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the S and Pitnet control panel. You can see there are four YML files. Don't worry about the settings.yml, that's only for advanced users. The main one we want to look at is the rules.yml. Now up at the top we have some really handy links to the wiki, FAQ, and a couple of sample documents, which I'd highly recommend you having a look at. The first section is just the various entity groups, which will make things easier later on. And then we have the presets for leveling. This is what I talked about in games so you can have a level be determined how far they are from spawn and you can change these distances then we have the y level so how high they are above the ground we've also got random leveling weighted leveling do you want the players level to be a factor as well when they come into contact with mobs and then if you scroll down a little bit further we've got default worlds so every single world is allowed with this asterisk and then you could also choose worlds where it isn't allowed such as creative or the end the way to get rid of that is is delete the pound sign then it will work then if we scroll down we've got the tiered coloring so we saw that in game you can see that purple was indeed that level 23 zombie we saw and that is a great way to determine if a mob is going to be difficult or not and the cool thing about this plugin is it actually hooks into other plugins as well so mythic mobs it would be cool to have it with that as well and then the last thing at the bottom if you really want to get advanced you can create custom rules if you go to the sample link i mentioned at the top you can see what they look like. We've got custom ender dragon leveling. You've got a few other things like nighttime difficulty increases. That's a pretty cool idea and it just uh, depends on the world tick time. So we have two YML files left. If we jump into the messages, there's really not too much in here you want to change. We've just got what the commands look like, the prefix, and pretty much everything that's going to appear in chat. And then finally, we've got the custom drops.yml. This is where you can change what items get dropped when a mob gets killed. Up the top, we've got various defaults, such as the chance of something happening, the amount, and a few other things. If we scroll down, we've got the groups, so you can have a certain type of group drop various things, or if you scroll down even more, you can have each specific mob drop something. And the way it works is you create drop tables, and that is where it gets the items from. So if we scroll down even more past all this, we have our drop tables. So we've got the armor and weapons one, which includes an iron helmet, chest plate, leggings. Now, thankfully, there is a sample document, this one here, so this is custom drops, and if we have a look at maybe diamond armor and weapons. So what we want to use is the drop table of all these diamond ones. And if we look at the drop table, you can see that it has nicely been customized. And what I'd recommend is copying and pasting one of these and then changing it to your liking. So you can see the original one here, armor and weapons. And if we scroll down, I have copied and pasted the diamond helmet damage tiers down here. And you can see there they all are, also the chest plate as well. So what you would want to do is actually scroll up to either the mob or the groups that you want. So make sure you do this. So it's going to use the diamond helmet and diamond chest plate damage tiers that we have set down here. And that's going to work for all mobs. However, you could, as I mentioned, specify per one. So that is the plugin. If you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. Make sure you've got protocol lib. And as I mentioned, there's an absolute ton of documentation. And then if you need even more support, you've got the Discord server as well. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.